Today, we're gonna be teaching you, and by we, I mean me, I'm gonna teach you how to do a tail whip. It's like the most popular scooter trick. It's one of the easiest ones you can learn. Hey, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, today, we're gonna be teaching you, and by we, I mean me, I'm gonna teach you how to do a tail whip. It's like the most popular scooter trick. It's one of the easiest ones you can learn. So I'm at my local Ratner right now. We're gonna ride for a teeny bit, get warmed up. There's not many people here, so we have the entire place all to ourselves. Private sesh, you heard. Got basically a brand new whip. We're gonna cruise around, and then I'm gonna teach you guys how. So let's go to the GoPro, and uh, trust me, it's gonna be easy. You guys are gonna learn super quick. And let me know in the comments if you guys want more tutorials, because I can do a lot of scooter tricks, and I can teach you a lot of them. Let's ride the GoPro, and uh, then we'll teach you how to do a tail whip. Okay, Sash was great. It was actually so freaking nice out. And now we're gonna teach you how to do a tail whip. Now, number one, find your scooter. Obviously, if you want one of these like that, you gotta go to the link in the description, use code buy, save 10% off the entire Maggie website. Or if you want any Maggie complete, same exact thing, links in the description. So you get your scooter and you need to know what stance you are. So if you're regular or goofy, I don't really think you can do this very well, ski. So I would say regular or goofy, and I'll explain what that is. Pretty self explanatory. Regular is left foot forward, pointing to your right. Goofy is right foot forward pointing to your left. A lot of people ask me if it really matters. It doesn't. It's just personal preference. It just depends on what you're more comfortable with. So pick whichever one you're comfortable with. That's literally, that's that's it. It's just personal preference. It's all it's really up to you. So the next step is very, very important. You have to be able to bunny hop. If you can't bunny hop, well, it's very simple. It's one of the, it's probably easier. It's actually a lot easier than a tail whip. Okay, it's basically like an ollie on a skateboard, but a scooter. All you do is jump with your legs, pull up with your arms to bring the bars to your feet. Therefore, your feet stay on the deck. And then you have the bunny hop. It's pretty simple. Now that you can bunny hop, the next step is probably the most important part of actually getting the tail whip around. Regardless of what stance you are, you're gonna wanna push with your dominant foot. That's what you're gonna wanna flick the tail whip with. It'll be, more, it'll be most comfortable for you. Freaking body. So if you're goofy and you're right foot dominant, you're gonna wanna flick the tail whip with your right foot, which would be your front in this case. And if you're regular, it's gonna be your right foot as well, which will be your back. This part actually confuses a lot of people, so I'm just gonna show you. Most people are right foot dominant, so this is what it's gonna look like. All you're gonna have to do, stand whatever way you feel comfortable and flick the tail whip with your dominant foot. Oh, I also forgot to mention this. You're gonna wanna find a flat space or like a bank. Personally, I would try and learn it flat. That's the easiest way to actually get the motion down. To land it, you might wanna pick a, you might wanna pick a bank, but as of right now just find a flat space or pretty much any open space that you're comfortable with don't be a goon and try and learn this in the middle of a street because you're gonna get freaking body by a car so the motion I just taught you where you want to flick with your dominant foot you're gonna want to practice catching it with the other foot so after you flick it with your dominant which most of you is gonna be your right you're gonna catch it with your left so you're gonna want to practice that a lot like I'm talking so much to the point where you can't stand doing it anymore literally just practice flicking with your front and catching with your back that freaking simple if you can get the hang of that you're in the game like I said, once you get comfortable with that and you're getting almost bored of it to the point where it's so easy, now you can try it actually. You're effectively just gonna put all the steps together. You're gonna find a flat space that you're comfortable with, jump, and do the motion. So as you jump, you're gonna push with your dominant foot, flick the deck around, and catch it with your other foot. Now, this is definitely not gonna be first try. It might take you a couple hours, a couple weeks, a couple days, it doesn't really matter. It really depends on the person, but it's not gonna be first try. This trick takes a lot of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's super freaking easy. I don't know why the frick I just snapped that. That was stupid. So if you're at home, try it in your driveway, you jump, flick with your dominant foot, catch with your back foot. It's that simple. Like I said, it's gonna be a while. It's not easy, it doesn't take one try. And realistically, it's the exact same thing out of a bank. Like, it's the exact same thing if you find a quarter of a bank. It's the the exact same thing. Personally, I'd recommend trying it out of a ramp, like out of a quarter or a bank. It's the easiest way to actually like really learn it without having to do too much work with your legs. But yeah, there you have it. That is exactly how you do a tail on a scooter. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you next time. Later.